In this video, we will investigate the various tools we have for publishing results. So to start, let's open a session file. Let's open the Exercise 7a session file. Let's save the graphics area as a picture. To do this, we need to select Save Graphics Area Image. Let's call the file Graphics Area, and then let's select the file type to save it as. Notice that many different file types are available. Let's go ahead and select JPEG. So, the Save the File Graphics Area.jpg in the Working Directory. Let's choose a different option and this time select Save Graphics Area Video. Here we will save the file as Graphics Area Video. Let's also take a look at the various types we can save the file as. For this example, let's leave this set to AVI and then select Save to save the file. Let's select one more option, this time selecting Save Dynamic Rectangle Video. Let's name this file Dynamic Rectangular Area. Now that the file name has been entered, we can draw the rectangular region to be saved. The left mouse button is used to draw the window. And then the right mouse button is clicked to accept the region. OK, so let's go ahead and look at the files that were created. First, let's open the graphicsarea.jpg file. What we see is that all four windows were captured into a single image. Now let's take a look at the graphicsarea.video.avi file. Again, we see that all windows were captured and animated in the AVI file. Now let's check out dynamic rectangular area.avi. Notice how only the rectangular area drawn was saved to the AVI file. Okay, so now let's review the preferences that are set for exporting files. First, let's look at the JPEG file settings. We will change the JPEG quality from 90 to 99. Now let's review the preferences for exporting H3D files. Notice the various settings that can be set. Let's leave all the defaults for now. Next, let's turn on the display of the session browser. Within the session browser, we can set the published settings for each window. To do this, we simply need to right-click on the window and select Publish Settings. Here we can set the window description as well as the format. This process is repeated for the other four windows in the session. The session is published to an HTML file by selecting File, Publish, HTML. We will save the file as Exercise 7a. Let's open the HTML file to view the published session. The session is opened in an internet browser. Notice how each window has the description that was entered in the session browser. Also notice how each page is saved individually, and you can change pages by clicking on the links on the left. Let's look at the H3D export settings again. For this example, let's uncheck results. This means that no results are exported to the H3D file. Let's go ahead and export the H3D file by selecting File, Export, Model. Let's save the file as Export H3D. Let's open Hyperview Player and then open a file. We will open the file Export H3D. We can rotate the model just like we can in Hyperview. 